That tree wasn't nothing but a shell right there. It turned it, it turned loose fast, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, that whole thing's rotten. I can, see, I can see it right there. You can see straight through Yeah. It. You could use that for a culvert. Those trees are tricky to cut when they're nothing but a shell, too. Uh -huh. <laughs>
This saw is the 550 XP Mark II, what I showed a while ago. This saw is an absolute demon as far as running. I'm running a 20 inch bar, so 325 pitch chain, 50 gauge. It is the Oregon LPX chain. It is a full house, uh, non-skip, full chisel chain. And this song gun is flat freaking cutting right here. The I cut this entire tree up too. On I didn't run a I didn't even run the saw out of gas. Yeah, I cut the whole the whole tree up on this one take of gas, but this saw don't burn hardly any gas at all. And I mean this is a big tree and you'll see in a minute the how wide the, the cuts that I was making down there to get the butt of it down there.
There are so many people that underestimate what this saw is capable of doing. It's a 50cc saw. It's an XP version saw. And uh, two more weeks, that saw right there will be two years old. And I have ran it the two years, just like you see me running it here in this video. I have not pulled no punches on that saw. I have done nothing but just run the absolute dog out of this thing. And it just takes whatever I put on it. The saw is meant to be run all day, every day. It runs with the 20 inch bar. I think that saw is uh, 619, that's what it is. And weighs, comes in full of gas and everything, about 16 pounds and some change on it. But even on this giant tree right here, I mean, it just, it just cuts. You know, it's a, it's a joy to run. I love running it. I nicknamed it Screaming Demon, and I think that's very, very appropriate for it there. I mean, just look at it right here. She just, I'm just letting her whine more and get after it.
That's just a little 50 cc saw right there, man. I think that's what that is of mine. It, it, was it not so used to be a farm boss or? Yeah. Little sun going right there to eat. I'm it'll just, run. It'll run forever on a tank of gas too. I mean, I've still probably got some gas left in it. You hadn't hit nothing, have you? Nah, I don't oh, think so. No. I hadn't felt nothing funny in here. No. I know when I look at the chain. <laughs> it's because it'll be a miracle with the yeah. stuff on this property. If it's going, if you're going to hit something, it's usually going to be in that uh -huh. top four or five blocking. feet right there. But let's see. Right there is where my battery died on my camera. I was done anyhow and got that done. So all three of these trees are on the same piece of property, uh, Mr. Gary's place there. Cut those two down and cut this one down here. This one was actually the better one out of the three. The, the first one I cut was rotten, kind of hollow in the center. The second one was nothing but a shell. And those trees are, uh, well, if you take off on a tree like that, be careful with it because they're very, they're kind of finicky to fool with to uh to cut them down but so the two saws i was running the first saw was a 372 that saw is 20 years old it was it's an 01 build i was running a uh, 28 inch bar uh oregon chain non-skip full chisel on that chain the saw don't the 372 don't exactly like that 28 inch bar it'll run it it'll pull it but it's borderline you know you're pushing it on that saw right there with that with that 28 on it and i've been running that saw uh, a fairly good bit here recently just uh just to run it and it just it, it runs good i worked on the carburetor a little bit on it the other night I, th I think it could probably still take a little bit more tweaking on it but it just don't have the same power the same kind of just the way that the the 572 the auto tune saw runs and i just it, you listen to the 550 right here just everything is so crisp and and just right on top of things and I, I started to pull out the 572 and cut this tree or actually cut i started to cut this tree down with the 572 but i decided said no nah, i didn't because i kind of felt like there was going to be some metal in this tree right here and i was pretty certain that i was going to hit something in the when i was cutting it down but luckily i didn't and uh so got that done i like doing these jobs like this running there after work we had agreed to meet and so what i do is i just take my saws with me that way when i get there if I can go ahead and do the job and I price it and they say, okay, let's do it. You know, we can do it. I say, Hey, I got my saws and that's what I did on this one right here, but got to meet another fan, uh, Mr. Gary, a uh, good time talking to him. I'll be probably seeing him again here, uh, shortly. Uh, probably there'll probably be some more trees. He'll be, he'll be wanting to cut over there too. I'm sure as time goes on, but, uh, so i appreciate y'all watching i answer a ton of chainsaw questions every week uh chainsaws chains bars anything to do with a chainsaw i even help a lot of people find chainsaws too and i can all i need to know is what area you're in your town and stuff like that and all I got to do is make a contact or two and I can find out where, what's what and all that good stuff like that. But I do appreciate y'all watching. I've got another really good video that I filmed with Kevin in the uh, 855 today. It'll probably be, it'll probably be tomorrow's video probably. I just wanted to do this one here. So I will catch y'all later. Later, taters.